Welcome back to Gisuf Metal Gear Solid Edition. When we last left off, we found out about Fox Die and a deadly the deadly illness that can simulate a heart attack and kill us. And we also know that we have to warm the Palki up in order to get to the next area. Which is hopefully just to disarm Metal Gear so that it can't kill anyone, which would be great. But I um, still have this bad feeling it ain't gonna work. You didn't see something before. Snake. I've skipped this, so that's okay. I've read this in the last part. By the way, you didn't see that I broke the game somehow. They st it stopped my controls from working properly, so... There we go. It's working again now. When I got up to the top of this lift, my controls stopped working. But I think it was a glitch with my actual controller and not with the game. Though... So, hopefully when this comes back to fruition, I'll be able to move. That's the hope. Yep, okay, I can move. Yeah, so it was just a weird... Ow. It was just a weird glitch. So, hopefully we'll be able to find our solutions, our answers, in this blast furnace in which we're going to... In which we're going to warm everything up. Just a tad. Time to get a little bit saucy in here. Is it hot or is it just the palky? Nah, no, it's just the palky. Gonna go to the blast furnace. I think it's pretty sure it's just over here. Right? I don't have to go down the cargo lifts and everything again, do I? No, I mean, I don't have to go through the communications towers. Pretty sure that's not the case. It's just up here. I do like how it moves on the map when you move along it to symbolise that it is actually moving. That's a good touch. Or maybe that's just my eyes playing tricks and actually didn't do anything. I don't know. Okay. Let's go through this door. Oh, apparently I can just walk through it. That's nice. The blast furnace is right here. Um, why is it... By the way, you're supposed to crouch on the edges there. And I decided to run off the edge like a knob. I was like, oh, just run off the edge and get it. No, nope. oh, okay. <laughs> Okay, then I won't. Supposed to bamboo across this edge without doing that. Is that ration even worth it? I'm not sure it is. But I'm gonna get it. By, by damn, I'm gonna get it. Don't you think I'm not? I have the willpower of a thousand men. I'm never going to stop trying to get it. Low, precise movement. Special, purposeful movement into the lava. Or the molten metal. It's a blast furnace. I'm pretty sure it's not, not lava. I don't know why Naomi is saying snake, snake, snake. Because she's an evil woman. She's trying to kill me. Why does she care? Of course, for plot reasons, you, you can't know that at the start of the game, so... Right. Careful. God! Okay, leave it. You know what? Leave it. I, <laughs> I've died in the fire too many times. Let it go. One ration. One ration is not worth it. One ration? Not worth it. I'm gonna get the palki out. We need to make sure it's warm. I can live with two rations. It's already gone to its warmer state. This is... Stun grenades. Oh, that's nice. I want to get right by it and then watch it warm up. <laughs> I hope this works. I mean, if that worked, that'd be really, really funny. Maybe the steam room would be better. Ow. This place must be swelteringly hot. All the background's moving like it's a heat wave, so... I'm gonna, I'm gonna assume this is what I need to do. I'm out of ashes now, but that's okay. Come on, I just wanna see you get warm, Sonny Jim. Maybe if you're going further. Ow. Right overneath 
overneath, underneath the uh, steam now. So it must be. This must be. Ah, uh, here we go. Okay, so it's it's hot now. I need to keep it in here. I'm going to keep it in here for another minute or so, and then I'm going to run out as quickly as I can to hopefully get not um, stupidly cold again through the furnaces or the um, cold room, freezer, the warehouse, whatever. I'm going to keep it in here until my counter says 30 minutes and 30 seconds, and then I will continue on. My timing's going to be a little bit off for this episode because I crashed the game, like I said, so I'm going to need to just guesstimate. I'm going to end at 40 to keep things easy for me. So sorry if this one's a little bit shorter than the others. I'm going to stay until 30, 30 or so. A little bit longer. Just uh, need to make sure that it's going to be completely boiling hot in my pocket. Right. Ten more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Thunderbirds are go! <laughs> right, let's go. Let's get out of here. Right, so now it's a race against the clock. We need to friggin' hurry. Hurry, hurry, super scurry. Because if we don't hurry up, it's gonna get colder. This place is probably okay temperature. Not super warm, but not super cold either. We need to get down here. We're so close, so we can taste it. Alki is still hot. I repeat, Alki is still hot. In, you know, police terms, something being hot means the police are after it. Like, if a bike is hot, it's been stolen. And the police are interested in it. But in this case, I'm just talking about a key card. Is the key card hot? Nick, do you want to have sex with the key card? Yes, it's so beautiful. They're like, don't worry. Me, being immature, never. How dare you? Down here. Let's go down the thingy. Just need to get through this room. The next room's going to be the worst one because it's going to be super cold. But if I can just dash through, those guards are there just to stop me. They're just to absorb my time, mainly. You've got to hurry, Snake. Oh, I will. Don't worry. I mean, this place is cold because I can breathe. My my uh my breathing is quite cold, but I, I have faith. That the game is fair enough that I can sit there for a minute and then leave, and then I'll be okay. Come on, Lift. Taking the piss. Hello. Snake, can you hear me? It's Naomi. Naomi? What the hell? Campbell and the others are busy right now. I'm on a different codec. Naomi, is what the Colonel says true? Yes, but not everything I said was a lie. Who are you? I don't know myself. I don't know my real name or even what my parents looked like. I bought all my identification, but my reason for getting into genetics was true. Because you want to know yourself, right? That's right. I want to know where I came from. My, my age, my race, anything. Naomi. I, I was found in Rhodesia sometime in the 80s. A dirty little orphan. Rhodesia? What's now known as Zimbabwe? Yes. Rhodesia was owned by England until 1965, and there were lots of Indian laborers around. That's probably where I got my skin color from, but I'm not even sure about that. Naomi, you're too worried about the past. Isn't it enough to understand who you are now? Understand who I am now? Why should I? No one else tries to understand me. I was alone for so long. Until I met my big brother. And him. Your big brother? Yes. Frank Yeager. What? He was a young soldier. When he picked me up near the Zambezi River. I was half dead from starvation and he shared his rations with me. Yes. Frank Yeager. The man who you destroyed was my brother and my only family. No. Grey Fox? We survived that hell together, Frank and I. He protected me. 
He's my one connection. The only connection I have to my past. And he brought you back to America? No. I was in Mozambique when he came. Who was he? You mean Big Boss? Yes. He brought us to this land of freedom, this America. And then he and my brother went back to Africa to continue the war. And that's when it happened. You killed my benefactor and sent my brother home a cripple. I vowed revenge and joined Foxhound. I knew it was my best chance to meet you and I prayed for the day that I would. So, were your prayers answered? Yes. I waited two long years. To kill me? Is that all you cared about? Yes. That's right. Two years. You were all I thought about for two long years. Like some kind of twisted obsession. Do you still hate me? Not exactly. I was partly wrong about you. What about Liquid and the others? <laughs> I'll have my revenge on them, too. Naomi, you didn't kill that doctor, too, did you? The one that used Gray Fox for his genome experiments? Dr. Clark? No. That was my brother. Afterwards, I covered it up and helped him hide out. So that ninja... I mean, Gray Fox... He's come here to kill me? I don't think so. I think he just came here to fight you. I wasn't sure before, but now I think I understand. A final battle with you. That's all he lives for. I'm sure of it. Fox. No. Naomi, tell me something. About Fox Dye? Fox Dye is a type of retrovirus that targets and kills only specific people. First, it infects the macrophages in the victim's body. Fox dye contains smart enzymes created through protein engineering. They're programmed to respond to specific genetic patterns in the cells. Those enzymes recognize the target's DNA? Right. They respond by becoming active and using the macrophages they begin creating TNF Epsilon. Huh? It's a type of cytokine, a peptide which causes cells to die. The TNF Epsilon is carried along the bloodstream to the heart, where they attach to the TNF receptors in the heart cells. And then... they cause a heart attack? The heart cells suffer a shock and undergo an extreme apoptosis. Then... the victim dies. Apoptosis? You mean the heart cells commit suicide? Naomi... What? You must have programmed that thing to kill me too, right? Do I still have time? Naomi, I don't blame you for wanting me dead, but I can't go yet. I still have a job to do. Listen, Snake. I'm not the one who made the decision to use Fox Dye. Huh? You weren't? No. You were injected with Fox Dye as a part of this operation. I just wanted to let you know that. No, that's not the whole truth. Huh? The real thing I wanted to tell you was... Snake, I... I... Hey, what are you doing? <gasps> Snake! Naomi! Snake, I can't allow Naomi to make any more unauthorized transmissions. What? Naomi's been removed from this operation. What happened to Naomi? What did she mean when she said that Fox Dye was a part of this operation? Colonel, let me talk to her. I won't. She's under arrest. Colonel, you double-crossed me. Snake, there's no time for that. Right now, your job is to stop Metal Gear. Okay, Snake? God fucking shit! Okay, so apparently, uh, that wasn't Naomi's fault. The Colonel said to use Fox Dye to kill me after this thing is done? Oh, for God's sakes. Deception, deception, and more deception. Why can't I just have a nice stealth game where nothing bad happens and I sneak around and I do my task and then I leave? How is that too much to ask? You know, that's all I wanted in life.
Anyway, we need to really hurry up to get through here now. Get out of here without being seen would be a... Oh dear. Time to go. It's about speed. At this point, it's about speed. I got shot through the door. That's okay. Doesn't matter. Okay, I got a ration. Got a chaff grenade. Got the pal key. It's still warm. Good. Luckily, I didn't get seen by the guns before I was actually ready. Okay, we made it through the deep freeze. We have to hurry up. I might be going over time now, but I don't care. We have to hurry. This is purely about speed at this point. Quickly now. It's going to be one of those moments where I just get to the door and it goes warm, isn't it? And not hot anymore. God damn it. This is going to be awful, but I'm going to have to hurry. I'm just going to try my best. Don't look at the key. Don't waste time looking at the key. Just climb. Just climb. Just climb. Keep going. Never stop. Never look back. Get caught by a guard. It doesn't matter. Just punch him in the fucking face and run on. Move along. Snake, please. This is not the time. I know you love making love to that ladder, but stop it. Okay. I'm going to check the key. I have to check it. I have to. Just to make sure I'm not wasting my time. Alki. Warm. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Motherfucker, quickly. What was that noise? Bye. Okay. Whew. Gotta do this. We have to do this. Very quickly. Go a chaff grenade. Check the pin. Check the key. The key's still warm. Okay. Quickly. Go, go, go. This is the key. Put the key in the device. Whew. We made it. Yes. Excellent. Been, hadn't been used yet. Thank you, Snake. Now the detonation code is completed. Nothing can stop Metal Gear now. Master, what's going on? You found the key, and even activated the warhead for us, too. I really must express my gratitude. Sorry to have involved you in that silly shape memory alloy business. What are you talking about? We weren't able to learn the DARPA chief's code. Even with Mantis' psychic powers, he couldn't read his mind. Then Ocelot accidentally killed him during the interrogation. In other words, we weren't able to launch the nuclear device, and we were all getting a little worried. Without the threat of a nuclear strike, our demands would never be met. What do you mean? Without the detonation codes, we had to find some other way. That's when we decided you might prove useful, Snake. What? First, I thought we might get the information from you, Snake. So I had Decoy Octopus disguise himself as the DARPA chief. Unfortunately, Octopus didn't survive the, the encounter, thanks to Fox Die. You mean you had this plan from the beginning, just to get me to input the detonation code? Huh? <laughs> you didn't think you made it this far by yourself, did you? Who the hell are you? In any case, the launch preparations are complete. Once the world glimpses the power of this weapon, the White House will have no choice but to surrender the Fox Dye vaccine to me. Their ace in the hole is useless now. Ace in the hole. The Pentagon's plan to use you was already successful in the torture room. <laughs> Snake, you're the only one who doesn't know. Ah, oh, poor fool. Who are you anyway? I'll tell you everything you want to know. If you come where I am, that is. Where are you? Very close by. Snake! That's not Master Miller. Campbell, you're too late. 
Master Miller's body was just discovered at his home. He's been dead for at least three days. I didn't know because my codec link with Master was cut off. But Mei Ling said his transmission signal was coming from inside the base. So who is it? Snake, you've been talking to... Me, dear brother. Liquid, how the... You've served your purpose. You may die now. Oh shit. What the f uh, okay, well, I've got to get out of this mess first. Let me out of here, motherfucker. Quickly now, gotta get out of here. Shit, what I'm gonna do, 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 gotta find a way out of here. Do, 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 fuck, press the buttons on all the things. Hopefully, I'll get out now. Da, da, da. Oh shit, what am I gonna do? Help me! Snake, gas! Do something! Snake, call Emmerich. He should be able to break through security. Okay. Otacon, help me for God's sakes! Snake, that's bulletproof glass. You can't break it with an ordinary weapon. Can't you open the security lock here? I'll try. Just hold on for a minute. Okay. Right, it's time to go bullshit crazy. Okay, hello. I hacked into security. Snake, I'm opening the door. Thank God. Ugh. Wait, what? Okay, I need to get I need to follow him. We can follow him next time though. So see you guys next time and on Wednesday, the 7th of January. We'll continue on and see what's going on. See you guys then. Thanks for watching. Don't die, Snake.